Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be opening up two Gotcha Robot Mystery Boxes. So let's get started. Okay guys, so if you don't know what Gotcha Robot is, I found these guys on Instagram, and they have almost like, they do it a bit of a different way, and they call it like mystery vending machines, and they do vending machines all the time. It's kind of like where they've got different tiers to mystery boxes, and um, here's a photo of what's in this mystery box right here. Um, so there's some pretty cool stuff inside of here. Um, I don't really know what I'm expecting. I, I've never opened up, um, you know, Gotcha Robot mystery boxes before, um, but we have two of them here. We've got this one, and then we've got this one. What I like about it is that they put their own sticker on the outside as well. So you guys can see here, um, it says Gotcha Robot right there. So that's pretty awesome that they've got those stickers on there. Um, we'll, we'll check out their shipping, and I believe these ones were uh, $29.99 for a mystery box, and you get one pop inside of each. So. Uh, this is pretty cool that we're going to be opening these ones up. We'll check out the prices after. I'll, I'll scan them on Stashpedia, see how that goes. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into this, guys, and start with the first one here. Um, I don't know what to expect at all, so I guess we'll just see what we get. Um, it's always fun to open up new mystery boxes as well. It's, uh, it's different. Um, you know, it's something fun for the channel where you don't know what's in it, and then it's kind of like everybody's getting a surprise at once. It's like Christmas for, for everybody. Well, I guess Christmas, I don't know what I'm getting. You know what I mean. Um, but anyways, let's get into this here. Okay, so once you cut the tape on the inside, guys, this is what you see. So you see, uh, Gotcha Robot Mystery Box sticker again, and then you get a little bit of bubble wrap, so that's nice. I hear a little bit of wobble in there, which is always great. Um, with, with, uh, mist with, uh, packaging pops, guys, you always want to make sure that there's a little bit of room in between them. That way they're not, um, hitting up against the side and getting crushed by the box. But this sounds like it should be perfect. I hear a little bit of room. Um, but anyways, these are the ones that they use at like conventions and stuff like that. I know uh, Chrono Toys used them, and like when Chrono and Chalice did a like a booth together at New York Comic Con, that's what they used. But anyways, guys, here we go. You ready? Let's start with the first one. I'll keep my eyes closed and try and get it out. Okay. I don't feel a sticker. If okay, put this to the side. Okay, so this is from Game of Thrones, um, and this is called The Hound. Now this is um, Sandor, Cle Sandor Clygen, The Hound in brackets, if you guys have seen this one here. I don't know much about this one, to be honest. Uh, with Game of Thrones pops, um, I never really got into collecting them. I don't really watch the television show. Um, like, I know Jetta Patrol is really into this show, and he, I think, has almost all of the Game of Thrones ones. Um, but yeah, this is the hound. He looks neat. I think he looks pretty cool. Um, on the back here, guys, you can see uh, Tyrion, Tyrion Lannister, uh, Ned Stark, uh, Daenerys Tigerian, uh, Cal Drogo, uh, the hound, and then White Walker. Sorry if I butchered any of those names, guys. I'm not too, uh, like I said, not too familiar with them. But still, very cool. So we'll check out the price of this one after we're done, um, just to see what he's worth. But I would say he's a pretty cool figure. I like, I like how he's like, uh, you know, he looks like. Um, I don't know if this is it for sure, but like almost like battle scarred on the side here, I would say. I think that's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, guys, let's put this one to the side here and we'll get into the ne next one here. Um, that one looks really cool though, so I'll check it out after. Okay guys, so let's see uh, what we got here. Um, so this one again should be the same thing. It's the same one. What they do is they change up the color of them every time. Now, I'd be interested to see if they change up the sticker color every time, which would be neat. So that way you know which uh, mystery box you ordered if you order a lot of them and uh, like, you know, open them up later and then want to figure out which one's which. So I think the color corresponding sticker would be cool. I think that's how it is anyway. Um, but here it is here, guys. This is the second one. So let me close my eyes so we can get into this one here and let's see what we get. Actually, I gotta pop it for a second. It's gonna, I wouldn't be able to do it with my eyes closed. Okay, so here we go. You ready? Let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. You guys can see it. Uh, I feel a sticker. Okay. Let's put this to the side here. Hey, this is cool. Okay guys, so this is, this is a neat one. This one's Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Now this is from Dragon Ball Z. Um, I'm a little bit more familiar with this one. Again, I don't watch Dragon Ball Z, but I know this was a very hyped up character um, when this one was announced. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this was the GameStop one um, that there was two pre-orders for it. One of them was just recently, and then the other one they had to wait till February for the next shipment to come in because so many people wanted this one. Actually, let me pop this one out of its box real quick so I can show it off. Um, so these, 
even um, without knowing the prices, guys, I'll have to check them out. I think this was worth it. Like, in my opinion, paying $30 for both of these, I think would be cool. Maybe if I got a different character, but I think the Hound looks neat. Um, but yeah, guys, let's check this one out here, guys. So this is Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. A very cool figure. I like, what would you call that? The, like, electricity or, like, him charging up um, with the flames in the bottom and everything like that. It looks very detailed. Um, I also like the way they did this here, how it looks like it's going all the way around him and everything. The way they've made it look like it's floating almost. And you don't really see the, like, the pieces sticking into the side of him, which I think is really neat. You guys can kind of tell um, there's, like, little sticks popping into him. So it, it looks really neat, actually. I like this one a lot. Um, so yeah, Gotcha Robot, I would say this is a win. So let's check out the prices now, guys, and um, we'll see if I, you know, make my money back on this or not. Not that that really matters, but it would be cool to see if we do. Um, so let's put these back away, guys, and we'll see if we did. Okay, guys, so I have my phone here, and let me just pull up Stashpedia really quick. So here are the two of them. I guess we'll start with... Um, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan here, just to make sure. So there's a way to do it, guys. If you didn't know this, um, if you go to search on the Stashpedia app, um, you can go to... Let me show you this here, guys. So if you go to search on the Stashpedia app, on the on the second last one on the side, you can tap this, and it's scan barcode. And then you can scan um, whatever you want. See, there's me there. Uh, so let's scan this barcode, guys, and see what we get um, for the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Uh, so it does not have a price on Stashpedia. Okay, so let's come back to that one. I'll check that one out on like uh, Pop Price Guide should have a price, so we'll come back to that one in a second. But let's check out uh, the Hound here and see what he's got. Wait. Okay, guys, so this is weird. I didn't... What? Okay, guys, I didn't expect this at all. But the... This one really... Okay, let me tell you this, guys. So I'll build up to it. It was released in 2012. It's number five in the Game of Thrones series. And it's worth a hundred dollars. So, for a $30 mystery box, we made our money back, that's for sure. That's cr what? That's crazy. This is amazing, we got a great box. Um, now let's check, what? Okay guys, um, let's, let's, we gotta put this one in a protector or something. Now, this also came in mint condition, guys. Both of them came in looking great, um, which is always awesome. You never know with a mystery box what you're gonna get or if it's gonna come in slightly damaged, but both of these look like they're, like I would say nine out of 10 or 10 out of 10 condition. But let me pop over to Pop Price Guide real quick. That's crazy, this one right here. Uh, price Guide. And let's see how much the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is worth and see if we made our money back on this one. I think it should be. Um, Super Saiyan, S-A-I, -S sorry, S-A-I-Y-A-N. Okay guys, so it says the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, I'm trying to find it here, it's way down at the bottom. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is worth $34. Hey, so guys, this one is just over the price. Also, let me show you that, guys, here. Um, so this is this is usually the, the right right amount uh, for the price there. I hope you guys can see that all right. My phone is really bright right now, but there is $34 right there, so it looks like we made our money back on both of these. So that is awesome when you're getting a mystery box. Honestly, I don't really care what you get in the mystery boxes as long as I get more than my value, and we 100% did. So it'd be like $60... Um, and we made about like $134. That's crazy. Uh, the Hound was an unexpected grail because I don't really know Game of Thrones. So that's awesome that we got something with like a really amazing price on it. And this is one of those ones, guys, that's like a common that probably all of a sudden just shot up in price. And I think that's really awesome that we did. Let me pop this one out of its box, actually. I'll, I'll pop it out really quick so I can show it to you guys. Because um, this might be one of those figures that you don't see too often anymore. Um, because of the, you know, it's older and it's Game of Thrones and stuff like that. So not everybody shows this one off as much because it's more of a, it's just, you know, it's a person, but it's still a really awesome figure. Um, so let me show this one off here, guys. So this is the Hound from Game of Thrones. Very cool figure. I think this thing looks great. Um, also the paint job on this one looks great and it's from 2012. So that's pretty hard to get a nice paint job from back then. And this thing looks pretty nice, actually. It looks pretty snazzy. Um... I'll have to look into this character and see what else is going on with him um, and why this is here. Because um, there's probably a reason for it. Like maybe it's just what he looks like in the show or um, maybe he gets injured or something like that. I'm not sure. Also why they call him the Hound. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll also put Gotcha Robots uh, website in the description down below if you guys want to pick up one of their mystery boxes and see what's up with them. I believe they have another one out right now. 
um, if I'm not mistaken. So go check that one out, guys. But anyways, this has been another episode of Top Pops Popsters. Thanks for watching. <laughs>